Well, I am so excited about this product and about the presenter. This is just so in, so clever and so inventive, but it's something everybody can use, especially in this day and age. But you know me, I'll probably use it till the day I die. <laughs> so um, without further ado, I'm going to oh let him God. explain what it is. So welcome to Hirsch Chin big. with Bond Sanitizer. Yeah, let's go. I've developed this, uh, you know, I was out shopping and we realized that we need something that's better in the sanitizing world. And what I developed is this, I, my, me and my partner, um, it's a personal wearable hand sanitizer mm -hmm. dispenser. So I was seeing people that were walking around with big sanitizer bottles st sticking out of their pockets. And basically <laughs> what it is, is, right, there's pumps. Um, yeah. It's a refillable <laughs> cartridge. <laughs> It's a refillable cartridge. The nozzle comes off. You stick in any gel sanitizer that you like. You know, some people like it scented. Some people like no scent. Put it back on, and we and then uh, stick it into the into the holster that sits on the belt or purse strap or anything like that. We make it pretty tight because we, we've been using um, a lot of healthcare people in healthcare were using it, so it, it sits on scrubs as well. So we had to make it tight, but then it'll loosen up if you're using it on, on a belt or a purse strap. And then, so when you reach underneath it and you just give a little squeeze, the sanitize, sanitizer dispenses from the bottom uh, in the nozzle. So it's one-handed operation. You're not reaching into your pocket or purse or, um, or flipping a cap and then squeezing it. And then as you're closing the cap, most of it drips off your hand. So... Um, we went through a bunch of iterations to, to actually get the shape, size, you know, we wanted it to be big enough that it, you're not constantly refilling it, um, but small enough that it's convenient and lightweight. Um, so that's, that, that's what, that's what I came up with. And within, within a few months, we were able to get a, uh, a, uh, design engineer to, to print 3d prototypes and create the molds and get it manufactured. So here we are, this is a bond sanitizer and it's our personal one hand touch wearable sanitizer dispenser. That is such a great idea. I'll never forget the first time that uh, after the pandemic, Elizabeth got into my car and I had a hand sanitizer bottle in there and she and I are like exactly the opposite. She sanitizes everything. I go by the two minute rule, if it falls on the floor, I'll eat it, right? So I, I, if a cat doesn't get there first. And so I had this bottle of sanitizer in my car and she was shocked. So, yes. <laughs> but no, I'm but... sure there's plenty of people out there. And I, I mean, that should, there should be a government regulation that forces people to use this, right? I, I mean, agree. I agree hundred percent for sure. <laughs> I, I, uh, I wanted to just chime in. I really like this product and um, I feel that it's very helpful for um, fitness as an example. So whether you work out at a park or you're in an outdoor class that's, you know, that's allowed for working out, um, you know, I, I can tell you right now, I would love to do this right after I do yoga or right after I'm doing weights. And it's like, you're right. I was making this comment that I had or showing this and I have one of these in my bag. Look how big this is. And this is like right. a small size. And it's, and what right. you're saying is would be so applicable. I'm going to, no joke, I'm going to buy one. So I, I really like what you're doing, man. Well, that was my question, Irsh. Uh, you know, like I go, I teach at a gym right now and we have these really bulky, big dispensers that are right in front of the class. And I wonder, have you thought about doing a model like this for gyms and places where people are publicly working out? Because I feel like all we have now is this like pump thing and it's not, people don't, they don't use it as much as they should because of where it's located. You know, I feel like if it was in more of a universal place um, that they would maybe use it more. Yeah, I mean, well, I, the, I, the idea is, I mean, I would love to get into gyms. So like we, we've been branding a lot of people, and these are just some of the brands that we've done on there. But, a lot, you know, to get into the gyms where gyms, let's say, would give this out to their members, uh, they could put their logo, their phone number on it, mm -hmm. um, and really have, you're right, because the pump on the wall, you know, maybe it's conveniently located for some and not for others. Maybe it's empty when you get over there, or maybe there's like 30 people crowding around over there and you don't want to jump in there. Um, and get too close. This is your own. Nobody else is touching it. Um, I think you have your, again, you have your sanitizer in there. Some people like their 70%. Some people like 
I so think we need stuff. a national bond sanitizer mandate. Well, as I, I think, think what yeah, we need. What, what, yeah, what I really like about it, just real quick, and then I know we need to go to someone else, is that you don't actually know what's in those other sanitizer containers. Right. <laughs> you don't know if it's some homemade batch of moonshine. <laughs> Somebody right. stuck in there because it's got alcohol in it. Or, I mean, no, there were a lot. When this started, remember, there were a lot, started, remember, were a lot of fake sanitizers that came out. Yeah. So this, you could put your own that you know what it is. You could have a dirty, dirty eye. And sanitizers have a shelf life, too. <laughs> you know, sanitizers can, they do expire. Um, so, again, you know, people aren't going there, going to check the expiration date on the gym sanitizer and i'm not saying that they're putting in expired stuff but you know if somebody if somebody wants to have a little more control and then literally from a it's a little bit of a leap but the truth is when somebody's in a store and they touch a shopping cart or whatever there's this little bug in their head it's like my hand is dirty i gotta get find something i gotta get somewhere and like from a from a very basic mental health standpoint it's like I just sanitize and it's off my head. There's no bother. I'm not worried. It's like, shoot, okay, I touched the shopping cart, then I touched my wallet and I touched my credit card. Now everything is just like, it's on my head. Um, it really just alleviates. It's, you know, you touch something, you give it, because touching something isn't going to give you COVID. It's, it's about, you know, it's what happens after, right? So the gloves aren't really the answer. The answer is to keep your hands clean. Um, yeah. And this, I think, just checked all those boxes and, and the feedback has been incredible. I want to order your sanitizer like in bulk. And then I want to ask Christina to put my logo on it. And then I want to ask Ash to do like a little wellness quote that I see every time <laughs> I reach in and I take a little squirt. And we'll file the trademark. So bring this all together. Whoa, right. We just created That's a right. business here. I love it. I love this show. That's right. We'll get the iHeartRadio logo on the front. There you, there you go. go. Yes, yes. Well, I absolutely, I mean, I, I take wipes with me to the store and I wipe off the grocery cart and all this other stuff, but then I'm touching stuff and I'm touching my credit. And I, I do constantly think about this. And the thing is, I'm, if I'm fumbling in my purse, it's like, oh crap, I just got these germs all over the inside of my purse. It wouldn't be a show if we didn't have an idea. So I have an idea and you can tell me if it sucks. I have no ego, right? So <laughs> I know we've solved the whole hand thing but the biggest thing that skews me out when i go to a gym or i go to the classes is the equipment so like the free weights mm. there's nothing that i've seen that i've ever worked in a gym where it's been like there's anything a formula to sanitize equipment so i'm curious to know like how invasive you know how how hard do you think that is to create something because i just feel like i we wipe stuff down and all we have is these yucky spray bottles and paper towel mm -hmm. like i don't i've never seen anything on the market specific to gyms where we can what it's equipment to disinfect the equipment just yeah. throwing I mean, it out there to think of something it, yeah it would almost have to be like misted to get everything right yeah, yeah. or or even like in a gel form i don't know i don't know mm. but it's something and i think this <laughs> idea is great because i do fumble around and i do worry about what i'm touching and if i could just mm. have it and squirt it and know it's my own sanitizer and nobody else has even touched the bottle Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to get some weird, I mean, we're worried about COVID now. What's it going to be next year? Like, you know, so right. <laughs> I'm going to stay sanitized. And whatever it is, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, 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 I, I think it fills a great need and it's a great idea. Did you happen to file a patent on this or? I did. I wish I would have used a Gearheart law. Well, we wish you would have too, but that's okay. But I we're think glad you're smart enough the, to do we're it. We're glad yeah. that you did Next it, so. invention. Next invention. Yeah. Yeah. So um, no, that's that's fantastic. So, uh, so that was fun, but I think we're running out of time. We're going to do a quick wrap up after this commercial. Uh, this has been a great show. What interesting conversations! Yeah, and, and Hirsch, can you let our listeners and our audience know where they can find you? Absolutely. So check out bondsanitizer.com. B O N D sanitizer. Um, not just after James Bond, because it's a gadget, but it was really the idea, the name came from people bonding and connecting because we were so separated when COVID hit and nobody was shaking hands, nobody was high-fiving. You know, everyone was at maximum doing the elbow bump. Um, but we wanted people to be able to bond again and, and be able to high-five. So that's where that name came up with, what came from and uh, bondsanitizer.com. And uh, check us out. There's singles, multi-packs, family packs, business packs with logos on our website if they put in because it's passage to profit. If they put in passage 15, they'll get a 15% discount for your listeners. 
So you are listening to Passage to Profit, the Inventor Show with Richard and Elizabeth Gearhart, our special guest, Ash Kumra, and our executive spotlight, Christina Henderson, our wonderful interviewer, Carrie Barrett. And we will be right back after this message. 